Yo, so this is going to be a long one. Somebody sent me this a picture of this post. Now, I'm just coming across this video that I'm going to let y'all check out right now. This woman says she's a proud Christian porn star and that God put her on this earth to enjoy sexual pleasure. She's 35 years old and she made the declaration during an interview that, quote, God's message has been abundantly clear. I'm here to be a porn star. This is my way of serving. What's astonishing is that she's actually a mother of four and she previously worked as a high school teacher, but she found that her life lacked meaning, meaning and that her spirituality was suffering as a result. What she really means to say is that she found that she wasn't making enough money. So you have Candace Owens saying that, uh, you know, giving her expose on some ex-teacher turned porn star porn actress i'm not even gonna say porn star because there's no such thing everybody with a camera can make porn but this bitch quit teaching and said that the lord guided her to become a, a porn star like she skipped over a, a escort a stripper this bitch went straight to just selling pussy like she didn't have enough like kahunas to go to the streets and sell box on the on the on the on the sidewalk <laughs> like real hoes do they stomp the pavement she wanted to do it do it in the safety and the comfort of her own home which i can't knock right you want to be safe while you selling ass or doing whatever type of lewd lascivious act but i am so tired of these um i'm so tired of all these quote-unquote christians these hypocritical stupid assholes just lying hypocrites it's like yo i would respect a person that was religious that just says hey i just want to do it god ain't had nothing to do with this this is what i chose to do i'm a piece of shit and i want to sell box which i'm not saying selling box makes you a piece of shit let's just correct that what i am saying is it is some unsavory shit and to blame it on Jesus makes you a, just an even bigger piece of shit. But in America, women have the tendency to just say whatever and people go along with it because it's a lot of beta males in this country. They let bitches just say whatever the fuck comes to their head. See, 1986 was a good fucking year. That's when hoes got slapped and choked out. Now, I don't, I don't actually, uh, I don't promote hitting women. But I will say, back when men did, you had less friction. You had less tension and you had more correct thinking. More common sense was going around because women knew at the detriment of saying some ill-mannered shit or some ill-advised shit or just something that's just plain out stupid. They run the risk of getting chastised. So they, she also mentioned that the woman had four children. So she could have just kept it real like bitch as a mother of four being a teacher. You just wasn't making enough money. You was a broke bitch. I mean, it's part and parcel on the state because they don't pay teachers shit, especially at public schools. But, you you know, you're supposed to better yourself. Start tutoring. Start your own tutoring company. Work at a charter school or a private school. And this is go this is a testament to how lazy bitches are nowadays because they don't think about things that they have skills in which they can transfer and actually make a business. Like if you're a teacher, print some business cards and some brochures and talk to the families at PTA meetings and let them know that you tutor for a low affordable cost after schools. Not go sell your pussy and your asshole and get skeeted. Like, this bitch is one. Like, if you want to just get fucked and get trains ran on you and let niggas come in your mouth, just keep it 100. I'm so tired of lying bitches. And before you hoes even start, yes, there are lying men. We're not talking about them right now. I hate niggas that lie too. But I really hate bitches that lie because a bitch will lie straight to your face and look you square in the eye like it's the truth. At least with a nigga when he lie, you know it's, the, it's a lie. You can call it out. And if he ain't a bitch ass nigga, he'll cop to it. Hoes will look at you square like and believe the shit. They'll try to have you believe in shit that they believe. Like hoes are like good for deluding themselves and trying to delude you. Nah, bitch. I'm something like a pimp. I don't fall for bullshit. I was born at night, not last night. Bitch, kill yourself. In any event, spend my thoughts, ideals, and opinions on this lewd and lascivious shit. Uh, scumbag hoe but i mean when you got four kids and no options and you don't want to work your skills and you just a lazy like you bitches no laying on your back is easy shouldn't expect anything more and she a white bitch so you know what i'm saying white bitches hit the wall at 31 this bitch 35 so it's a hard knock life anyways if you like this episode subscribe turn the notifications on share on all social media platforms and tell your friends about me i'm out no one's